Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So have you ever had the need for truly seamless material? And let me show you what I mean. So I've been working on this uh, wallpaper for my phone and I created these 3D icons that are like rotating in space. And so uh, what I mean by truly seamless material is that this little plate, for example, that we got here, needs to be without any seams. And uh, what I mean by seams for those beginners out there, for example, if I apply a material like this, you can see that uh, no texture is appearing because we don't have a UV map. So let's just do the simplest of UV mapping. Just go into edit mode, press U and then smart UV project and it will create uh, this UV map right here. This is a UV map editor uh, where it will, I don't know, figure out the best way Blender feels that this object should be unwrapped. And those seams are where the texture stops. So for example, this, these edges right here is where the texture will not uh, continue seamlessly. And this is what happens on the object itself. You can see that we have straight breaks and lines. And, and this is not what we want because it doesn't feel right, doesn't feel natural. And uh, so there are two ways on how to solve this problem. One is use procedural materials and procedural materials are something that I don't want to get into. You can Google it, uh, but uh, procedural materials uh, have a bit of a downside. They will slow down your computer and also some type of materials you just cannot do right with procedural uh, method. So there is another way and let me show you right here with this wood material. I will just create a duplicate of it. And I will use in this texture coordinate, I will use the object instead of a UV. And what we got here now is some kind of a projection and it is seamless, but as you can see, it's, uh, it's weird because the sides are just like projected from uh, the top. And here we have a uh, weird artifacts. So we can use this uh, box and let me just mute these nodes here so we can see better what's going on. So now we have only the diffuse channel. And uh, what does this box projection do? It will project like a box UV map onto the object. So imagine like this object is inside a box and every face is facing uh, up. We'll get the projection from the top side of the cube. Every face facing uh, in this direction will get this kind of projection and this will also you will notice to give us seams like here and here and also here as you can see uh, but then there is this cool little thing this blend option that you can turn up and what you see here is these lines are getting blended like this depending on the material you can crank it all the way up and i mostly do that and so when i have the blend set to one you can see that now really this material seems 100 percent seamless there are no lines breaks and uh, it looks really good uh, let me just do this for the other two channels real fast What is the problem with this now? There is always a downside, of course, is when you move these objects that are object oriented into space. And here's what happens. Uh, you see that the texture is staying in place, but the object moves. And this is not obviously something that would happen in real life. So there is a way to keep this projection like glued to each face and it's called baking. And I'm gonna show you the simplest way to bake this practically a procedural material. And uh, so what we need to do, first we need to have a UV map and we already did that UV map. So we, we have it right here and we need to create three texture images that here we already have, but that are like glued to the faces instead of being just projected from world or object coordinates. 
So how do we do that? First, we add a texture image like this. Press on new, call it whatever you want, help. And I'll keep these widths and heights to 4K, so 4096. And that is it, just press OK. Now we created this uh, help image. Let's keep it here so we can see what's going on. And now what do we do? We need to connect the channel we want to bake. So let's start with diffuse. We need to connect it to the material output like this. And then we need to go to the render tab. We need to select cycles. We need to lower the samples. So one is enough uh, for baking. It will just be faster. And remember to put it back to the default value when you start your render. And uh, we need to go down here under bake and we need to change this bake type to emit. And this is very important. And there's nothing else you need to do here anymore, but you need to select this node this image texture node this means that when we start baking it's going to be baking our texture to this help image texture so let's just press bake and see what happens and there it is it baked our texture onto our faces in the uv map now we need to save this image let's just call it wood diffuse 2 save as image and we need to do the same thing for the other two textures we have using in our material. And let's just change what's important. Another thing, here we have a non-color color space, uh, which is what we need to do for these uh, black and white texture maps. And uh, so we need to change this also here to non-color. And now we just press make. Here it is. Save it roughness and the last one bake save as bump okay so now our object looks really weird so we need to do a couple of things first we need to change our texture maps to the new maps that we just created so let's just change our diffuse to this one our roughness to this one and our bump with this one then we need to connect our principal shader to the output we need to set our texture coordinates back to UV we need to set the scale to 1 and we need to set these projection type to flat flat and flat okay our material is not looking as it should because for some reason here we have a wrong texture so let's bring it back to diffuse 2 and let's set this to srgb and now as you can see everything is working right and our texture is correctly mapped and let's just do the last test as you can see now the texture is standing in its place and everything is fine so if you want a really really truly seamless material this is one of the ways to achieve that Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.